So here's an interesting story. It's from Dr. Fauci. Fauci says U.S. could have herd immunity by end of summer 2021. It says the nation's top infectious disease expert, Anthony Fauci, said Tuesday that the U.S. could have, quote, herd immunity to COVID-19 by the end of the summer in 2021 if Americans across the country get vaccinated against the disease. Um, it says the National Institute for Allergy and Infectious Disease Director predicted that the general population will start being vaccinated in April. Quote, once we get there, we can crush this outbreak, just the way we did with smallpox, with polio, and with measles. So we can do it, we just need to hang together a bit longer. He later added that if the U.S. has a good uptake for the vaccine, the country could have the, quote, overwhelming majority of people vaccinated by the end of the second quarter in the U.S., that means you would have herd immunity that would allow you to safely get people back to school in the fall, to safely get people back to the kinds of work that would otherwise be difficult as you get to the middle and the end of the summer. So it's going to start in April, and it's going to go right through to the end of the second quarter in 2021. Herd immunity is the point at which a disease stops spreading widely through a population because enough people are immune to it, either via vaccination or by recovering from an infection. So... What we're seeing right now is we're seeing record-breaking spikes pretty much everywhere in the country uh, when it comes to COVID. So right now is a really important time to really be able to quash the COVID increases. And that's why there's, like in California, they're starting to put in uh, curfews and stuff like that to try to curb stomp this, you know, what's coming in right now with this COVID stuff. So they're trying to curb stomp it right now. Right now is a really important time. People are going to have to understand that, you know, you may have had some easing in these past couple months when it comes to COVID. That's because, you know, it was the fall, it was the summer. Now it's flu season and, you know, this is this is really the winter time, heavy, you know, infection season. You have to you have to now lock down, hunker down even more than you did previously. So you kind of have to re-go back down to that point that you were in at this time of year last time or, you know, a couple months from now last year. So... It's important to understand that. But, you know, my reaction to this story was actually good. I was like, wow, okay, that's actually exciting. Because for me, you know, we're in December. I feel like, you know, yeah, when you count the months, it's a long time. But, you know, when you talk about if you can have herd immunity by the end of summer 2021, I mean, I view that, what is that, like six, eight months, something like that. I view that as at least there being like light at the end of the tunnel. Like you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You can think like, oh man, by the end of summer, there'll be herd immunity, which means... Once we have herd immunity, most vast majority of stuff's going to go back to normal, right? Um, but even like in those months prior, you know, a lot of stuff will probably start easing as more people get vaccinated. So hopefully we will be in a situation where even in the few months before herd immunity is achieved, you know, you're starting to get to like 75, maybe 60% of normality when it comes to being able to do stuff. I hope that the vaccine is a good vaccine. Um... I forget how long they've been working on it for, maybe since like March or April or something like that. So if the regular population starts getting in April, hopefully that means they've had at least a year to work on the vaccine. <clears throat> One worry that I had about them trying to rush a vaccine is the potential for a bad vaccine because they didn't do enough testing, enough trials and stuff like that. So I'm very hopeful it's going to be a good vaccine. Hopefully COVID does not, you know, mutate into something really bad. I know it's already mutated a bunch of times. But I'm hoping that it doesn't, you know, mutate into something really bad. Um, but this is actually good news to me, man. I mean, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Kind of dig your heels in, you know. <laughs> uh, once you start getting into, like, June, you know, stuff can be sort of rescinded in terms of restrictions. And, you know, it gets slower and lower and vaccines are coming out. People will be protected and you're not going to have these big issues. So this is actually pretty exciting for me, man. We just got to hunker down and, and really get to that point.